So tell me about how you're using AI in your day to day. Prior to AI, I would be speaking to the computer in language that the computer understands. Now that I'm using AI, I feel like I'm talking to the computer in the language that I understand and I don't need to translate it to the computer. Awesome. And you've been using Hero for a month, two months? Yeah, so I first got access around um, a month ago. But in that month, I feel like I've been able to do a lot more than one month's worth of development work. And I've been able to try lots and lots of different things. And that's one of the things which really excites me about it is that I feel like I'm moving at a different speed to how I was before, before I started using it. And one of the big features of Hero is the spec-driven development. Have you uh, experienced a lot of changes in your workflow with that? Spec-driven development has been really, really impactful to me. I'm spending three days sometimes working on a spec in Kiro, just making sure that my spec is entirely uh, uh, complete, that everything's been accounted for. And then I just push the button and I let Kiro go, and it's been a really, really life changing experience as a developer. Do you feel like the quality of your work has changed at all or like what you're able to deliver? The volume of my work has definitely changed. That I really am letting Kiro take control and I think that that's the best way to get a lot out of it is to give it uh, the control rather than trying to strangle it into your workflows. Yeah. Do you have any advice that you would give somebody if they were going to start trying to bring uh, agentic tooling in general but Kiro into their day to day? Uh, absolutely. Time spent upfront is not time spent iterating. Uh, iterating with Kiro is hard. If you spend your time iterating on design, then Kiro will do a lot of work for you. Setting up your steering documentation very early. Let it know about your project. Otherwise, it makes assumptions. You don't want Kiro to be making assumptions. You want it to discover your code base. You want to guide it through your code base. Making manual changes, telling it to update st steering documents to tell it more about your, uh, your code allows the agents to work uh, significantly better. I think it's not something which you can dive right into and uh, have your ultimate workflow. It's something which you're going to need to play with, you're going to need to test, see what works for you, see what doesn't work for you. Um, and the longer I've spent with it, the more productive it's made me.